Soy Sergio Agüero de Buenos Aires, Argentina. En los últimos años, mi ciudad natal ha experimentado numerosas dificultades relacionadas con el agua. Una de ellas es la contaminación de los cursos de agua. El riachuelo ha sido contaminado por más de un siglo y la situación actual de su cauce es alarmante. I'm Ben Sweat from Palm Harbor, Florida. A 2015 study found that more than 7.5 million Floridians were exposed to unsafe drinking water. Currently, there are 3.5 million people at risk of coastal flooding, and by 2050, an additional 1.1 million people are projected to be at risk due to rising sea levels. Soy Jesús Medina de Asunción, Paraguay. En 2015, Paraguay sufrió las peores inundaciones de los últimos 50 años. Se declaró el estado de emergencia y más de 130.000 personas tuvieron que abandonar sus hogares. I'm Sebastian Ibiaga from Wari, Nigeria. An estimated 240,000 barrels of crude oil are spilled in the Niger Delta every year, polluting waterways, contaminating crops, and releasing toxic chemicals into the air. This means that babies born in this area are twice as likely not to survive the first months of life. I'm Ilkay Gundogan from Gelsenkirchen, Germany. My country has suffered huge water shortages over the last year. Drought affected about 90% of German land in 2018. The drought caused part of the River Rhine to drop to the lowest levels ever recorded. Soy David Silva, de Arguineguín, Gran Canaria. Las reservas de agua dulce en España han disminuido un 20% en las últimas décadas, debido a una menor cantidad de lluvia y al aumento de las temperaturas. I'm Anton Tinon from Linköping, Sweden. In 2018, record high temperatures and drought meant Sweden was hit by its worst wildfire in over 50 years. I'm Jill Scott from Sunderland, England. My home city has experienced many serious water issues in recent years. Rising sea levels, storm surges and increased rainfall mean Sunderland faces threats from tidal, river and flash flooding. I'm Steph Horton from Durham, England. Britain's industrial past has resulted in environmental problems in the north of England, including poison rivers and polluted drinking water. The mining of lead, tin and other metals is thought to have contaminated nearly 2,000 miles of waterways. I'm Caroline Weir from Dunfermline, Scotland. In 2018, there was localised flooding and landslides across much of Scotland and the Highlands. The whole of Fife was subjected to a flood warning. And during last year's heatwave, farmers battled a potential crisis as drought conditions hit much of Scotland. The world's water challenges are closer than you think, but so is the opportunity to solve them. Let's solve water.